All right, so to get this started for today, uh, the flow today is gonna be very much an upper body flow. We're taking this toward a lopsided crow shape. So a lot of work through the arms, the shoulders, the upper back, the chest. You're definitely gonna feel some odd positions moving the bent arms quite a bit. So just kind of have that in mind. Um, and that will be my demonstration before we begin. Now, at the and once we get in the main part of the flow here, every sequence is gonna bring it to the front of the mat. I'm gonna cue this into crow first, just the regular shape, and at least come into the setup for crow, even if you don't wanna balance everything up on your hands. Take some weight on your hands. Just hold on to it, stay tense a little bit, and you can move the vinyasa from there. Immediately after that, I'll go through the, through the setup for the lopsided crow, which will be from all fours. And I'm gonna show you with this demonstration how to link the two if you wanna take it there, if you've been practicing this for a while. Now, if just getting a grip on one or the other is plenty, just go ahead and stay with that. You can do both poses, you can just do one, but just work things as best you can and see how far you wanna go with this today. So to demonstrate, we're gonna be at the end of the, at the, end of the flow, you'll be at the front of the mat in a forward fold to come into crow. And for this, it's palms down, hand shoulder width, dig your fingertips down to the floor so keep your hands tense. Lift your heels and bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward, lean forward, just take things slow. Keep your hips high, keep your gaze forward at least a little bit. And if this is good enough, just stay right here and again, stay tense. Now if you can take things further, if you're going to balance it, keep looking forward and lean so that you can lift your feet up together. Your weight should shift, your weight should shift, let's see if I can say that, so that your feet actually get light. Toes to touch, heels to your seat and to take that to where you can. Work it as best you can. You can take versions where your legs are up higher, you can come down low and flatten out, whatever you like. Just bring yourself into curl and see how far you can get with that. Now to take this into the lopsided curl, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'll cue this immediately after. And for that, you come down to all fours. So from here, I've got my knees down on the floor, and you're gonna take this into a lopsided shape to begin. So it's gonna be from a lopsided dolphin, basically. So from here, my right forearm's down. I'm gonna keep the elbow to the side and bring my hand to center. So that forearm, the, the forearms can be diagonal in relation to the rest of your body, keep in mind. The other hand, you want to slide it back probably further than you think you need so you can stack the elbow directly over the wrist and keep that elbow pulled into your side. Now when you're ready, tuck the toes to both feet, lift your knees, get your hips up high, walk your feet in as close as you can, get your hips as high as possible. And the higher you get your hips, the more able you're going to be to balance this, keep in mind. Now coming into this, just look down at the floor. The leg that's closest to that lifted elbow, this is my left leg, put that knee on your arm, squeeze the second leg into the first, use your inner thighs to keep the legs together, and then see about lifting the second foot and take that to where you can. You want to try to stay toward vertical as best you can with your butt directly over your head if you can get there. If you're a little bit lower, it's going to be very hard to hold this shape, keep in mind. And the more off of vertical you are, the more muscular the pose has to be, and you'll probably come down pretty quickly if you're going to take it to that point, keep in mind. And just feel this out as best you can. It's definitely a bit awkward to come into. Now, you can definitely link the two, and you can start this out from crow, and I'll just demonstrate this once. You're welcome to play around with it. The big risk is you're gonna tumble from one side to the next, which isn't that big a deal, keep in mind. But coming into crow, you just bring yourself into that arm balance first, and then if you wanna take it from here to the lopsided crow, you decide which elbow is gonna come down, I'll tell you which one. So I'm gonna drop my left elbow to the floor, which means I'm gonna lift my left leg, squeeze it into the right, so use your inner thighs here, keep your hips high and your head low, and as you grip the floor, just focus on pivoting to lower that left elbow as slowly and as lightly as you possibly can. Ooh, and that last couple inches is usually kind of a hassle and you kind of drop down the last six inches. So just work to control that as best you can. And the worst thing that happens is you kind of roll off to the side if you don't quite catch it, but just feel things out. And it's really just kind of something to play around with if you want to take things there. So just keep that in mind. So to start, let's begin this on our knees. So bring your knees together and your feet together as well. Let's stretch out the bottoms of the feet. So go ahead and tuck your toes underneath you. And see that all 10 toes are going to comply. And then just bring yourself upright on your heels. Now as you come into this, rather than just squishing your toes down, dig your toes into the floor. Keep your feet active and this will stretch all through the arches. And if for any reason this is just torturous for you, you can let it go at any time. But try to just hold on to this as best you can and breathe. Now, if you want to release this, if that's about enough, feel free. And if you can hold this shape for a minute or so, then just begin here. But otherwise, just take an upright seat. You can be on your shins with your feet flat on the floor underneath you. Maybe take a cross-legged seat, whatever serves you best. But keep your torso upright. Rest your hands on your lap, open your palms up toward the ceiling. Stack your spine. So draw up the belly and around the low ribs. You keep your torso upright. Relax your shoulders down. Bring your chin in just a little bit. And then just close your eyes here. So just take a moment to settle in, let your mind quiet down. And 
and then start to deepen your breathing here when you're ready. So the inhale's pulling as much as you can, try to fill up your lungs and hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. When you're ready, you take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just open your eyes. And then with your eyes open, just bring your hands forward. And whether you still got your toes tucked or not, just release your feet and shake them out for a moment. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back to an upright seat. And again, this can be on the shins or maybe you're sitting on a cross like you seat, whatever serves you best. And we'll just move slowly here to start. So with your next inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach us up high. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, through center again. Inhale, reach up high. And now from here, just keep the arms lifted like this and bring the right hand be behind your head with the palm facing in. Left palm faces the other way, so clasp your fingers. And with your left hand, draw the right arm behind your head. Now press your head back into your right arm, keep the shoulder pulled back. And we'll just take this to the side. So just go ahead, lean left, left, left elbow toward the floor, bring your gaze up high. And then just release it briefly here, lean over to the right. And then again, lean left, left elbow down, gaze up high, keep that right shoulder pulled back. And then bring yourself over to the right again. One more time. Pull the left double down. Gaze up high and hold here. Now keep your gaze high. Draw that right shoulder back. Try to look up and open up your chest as you draw the left double down. And just feel that stretch move through the right side of your body and alongside your rib cage. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this and switch it out. Left hand behind your head with the palm facing and right palm faces the other way. Clasp your fingers with the right hand. Draw the left arm behind your head. Press your head back into that arm and keep the shoulder pulled back. And then from here, lean to the right. Right elbow down. Gaze up high. Keep your shoulder pulled back. And then just release this. Lean a little bit to the left. Again, right elbow down. Gaze up high. Keep your left shoulder pulled back. Here. And then release and lean to the left side. One more time, pull the right elbow toward the floor, left shoulder high, keep breathing here, and keep that left shoulder pulled back. And just hold on to that stretch all through your left side. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands to the floor, and come down into all fours. Move around for a moment. Stretch your hands, stretch your fingers, let your shoulders and hips just move side to side. And then bring this into center. We'll thread the needle here. So wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips to start. But I want you to lengthen this out a little bit. Step your hands forward, maybe about one hand's length to give yourself some room. And we're going to twist back and forth before we settle into the stretch. So when you're ready with an inhale, reach your right arm up high. Exhale, right arm underneath. Bring the shoulder all the way to the floor. Back and forth. Press into your left hand. Inhale, the right arm up high. And with the exhale, twist again with the right shoulder down. Press into your left hand. Inhale, the right arm up high. Exhale, one more time. Twist, bring that shoulder to the floor and hold here. Now press the left hand. Left shoulder stacks above the right. Bring your gaze up high. And if you can take this further, with your left hand, take hold of the right wrist. Try to push that hand away from you and feel a deeper stretch of the right arm. And if you want to go even further, you can step your left foot straight back, big toe to the floor. Drop the left hip down so your hip stays square. And if you want to move with this, just hold this position and lift your left foot, bend the left knee, just touch your right calf. And then extend your left leg, dip the toe back down. Again, bend your left knee, touch it to the right calf. And then extend the leg, touch the toe back down. One more time, left knee to right calf, keep your twist. Extend the left leg back, big toe to the floor. And then just bring your left knee down, left hand to the floor. And with your next inhale, reach your right arm up high. 
And then with the exhale, come back down, back to all fours with your hands a little bit for more forward than usual again. Let's take it on the other side. With your next inhale, reach your left arm high. Exhale, left arm underneath, shoulder comes all the way down. Press into the right hand, inhale your left arm up high. And with the exhale, twist and bring that left shoulder down to the floor. Press into the right hand, inhale your left arm up high. Exhale one more time, twist and stay down here. Now left shoulder to the floor, keep reaching through that left arm, press into the right hand and keep that shoulder over the left. And just breathe with us here. Now if you want to take a little bit further, with your right hand, take hold of the left wrist and try to push the left hand away from you and that should deepen the stretch a little bit. If you want to take it further, step your right foot back, big toe to the floor, but drop the right hip down, keep your hips squared. And if you want to take it further still, lift the right foot, bend the right knee, touch the knee to your left calf, extend your right leg and dip the big toe to the floor again. And then bend the right knee, touch it to your left calf, and extend the right leg back. One more time, bend the right knee, touch it to your left calf, extend the leg straight back, and then bring the right knee down to the floor. And then set your right hand back down. With your next inhale, reach your left arm high. And then with the exhale, bring it back down, come back to all fours. And again here, move around, keep the shoulders loose. And then just bring this into center and we'll stretch into the wrist right away. So bring your knees together and your feet together as well. And then slide your hands in close. Now you're gonna keep the hands shoulder width, but bring them so that about one hand's distance forward of your knees. And then flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, palms facing up, fingertips point in the direction of your feet. Now you can bring the hands in even closer if you want to take most of the weight in the legs. But wherever you take this to, spread your fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, press your spine up toward the ceiling, try to keep your arms straight, and keep the hands tense, resisting the stretch. Now you can just stay with this if this is enough, feel that stretch moving through your wrists. Maybe circle the shoulders over the wrists if you just want a little bit of movement. But if you can take it further, we're going to play with around with a little bit of cow and cat breathing. Now, if you're interested in that, bend the elbows in toward you, drop your belly, pull your chest forward, gaze up high. And then with the exhale, straighten your arms, round your spine and empty out. Again, like that, bend the elbows, take an inhale, drop your belly, bring your chest forward, look up. Exhale, straighten the arms and round. And just take it back and forth like that a few more times. Now just feel this out here and try to incorporate the bending of the elbows and straighten the arms as well. You don't have to take that too deep. Just a little bit of a change in the arms is definitely going to change the stretch. And then when you're ready, just one more time. Take a deep inhale, look up toward the ceiling. And then deep exhale as you round your spine. Or complete exhale like that. Come up onto the fingertips. And let's take this into another stretch. So keep the legs as they are, keep the knees together. Walk your hands forward like, a, like your usual all fours, wrestling the shoulders. Now with your palms facing down, rotate each hand, fingertips out to the sides, and then in the direction of your feet. And come as far in that rotation as you can. Now spread your fingers out wide, dig your fingertips down, press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep your spine lifted here best you can. And if you want to just hold here, this is fine as well. Now if you can take things further, keep that grip, keep your shoulder blades spread apart and your spine lifted. But then to go further, lift your right foot and extend the right big toe past the left edge of the mat as far as you can go. And then bring the right knee down to meet the left again. Left big toe over to the right far as you can go. And then come back to center. Right big toe, left keep gripping the floor with your hands. And then bring this back to center. Left big toe over to the right. And then come back to center here. Right big toe to the left one more time. And bring this back to center. And then bring your left big toe to the right one more time. Back to center here. And then come up onto your fingertips. Walk your hands in. Come down to sitting on your heels. And take a moment. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And then once the hands are ready, bring your legs out from underneath you and come to a seat. Now I set up a couple, a couple versions of reverse tabletop here. So feet in front of you about hips with distance apart. Hands behind the shoulders about shoulder width. Now if you can, point your fingertips forward. And if that's too much, you can always rotate your fingers to the sides. But either way, pressing your hands and feet, lift your seat up off the floor. And let's take this up and down. So with an inhale, press your hips high. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift your hips. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, press up high. Exhale, come down. And then inhale, lift one more time and hold. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep the hips lifting, let your head fall back. And just breathe into this here, hold the tension, hold that lift. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just sink back down. Now give yourself just a moment here, shake the hands out just a little bit. 
And we're going to take it back up, and this time we're going to bring it up on one hand. Now to set this up, to keep the feet about hips with distance, hands behind the shoulders about shoulder width again. But this time, rotate your fingertips to the sides and then as far back as you can go. And just lift your seat up off the mat to set this up. Now the weight's going to be on your left hand. So keep your left arm straight, put your weight to the left side. Right hand comes to your chest, keep it here. Be sure you can lift and lower from the left shoulder without pain. Otherwise, you can set that right hand down. Now to take it back and forth, with an inhale, lift your hips up high, open to your left side. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift this up again, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift up high and hold this time. Now keep the left arm straight and strong. Keep your glutes squeezing. Let your head fall back and just breathe here. Take an inhale. Now the exhale, slowly come all the way down. Both hands to the floor, come down to a seat. You can shake that left hand out for a moment. And then take it on the other side. So feet still the same, hips with distance, hands behind the shoulder, shoulder width, rotate the fingers to the side and back, and then lift yourself up. Now the weight's on the right hand this time, so put the weight to the right arm, keep it straight. Left hand to your chest, keep it here. Be sure you can lift and lower from the right shoulder without pain. Now back and forth with an inhale, press this up, open to the right this time. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press high one more time and hold. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep the hips lifted like this, left elbow, left shoulder high, keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come all the way back down. And take a moment here, shake your hands out again. Once you're ready, cross at the ankles, roll forward, your hands find all fours. And then from all fours, we're going to take this quite a bit further here. So to start, come down from the hands and onto your forearms. So with your forearms on the floor, you've got two choices. You can have the forearms parallel with the palms down or press the palms together, whatever suits you best. And whichever position you choose, you need to pay attention to the elbows. Try to keep them within shoulder width. Now press into your hands. Tuck the toes of both feet. Lift your knees just above the floor. And stay bouncy here. And then we're just going to keep the forearms grounded and twist the lower body. So keep your right knee bent, but lift your right foot. Right foot goes up and then down to the left side, let yourself twist. And then come back to the center with the toes still tucked. Now lift your bent left leg up and over, down to the right. And then bring this back into center. Right foot up and over, down to the left. Back to center here. Left foot up and over, down to the right. And then come back into center. Right foot up and over, down to the left, try to twist a little deeper. Bring it back to center again. Left foot up and over, down to the right. And then bring this back to center. One more round. Right foot up and over, down to the left. And then come back to center again. Left foot up and over, down to the right. And then bring this back into center. Set your knees down. And come back up onto your hands. Now take a moment here to breathe. Move around. And then we'll take things a little bit further. Now this time with straight arms. So all fours, wrist the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. And again, tuck the toes of both feet. With your toes tucked, hover your knees, but this time sink all the way back toward your heels. Now a little bit more dynamic. You wanna take this back and forth into a twist. So when you're ready, bring this forward with your right knee touching your left elbow, and then sink back down to the back of the mat. Come forward, left knee to right elbow, and then sink back down. Right knee to left elbow, sink back down. Left knee to right elbow, and sink back down. Right knee to left elbow again. Back to center here. Left knee to the right elbow. And then come back down. Right knee to left elbow again, hold here. Now, drop your left heel, lift your left hand, open up to the left side and just stay here for a moment. And then turn back to center, both hands down, toes tucked, sink to the back of the mat. Come forward, left knee to right elbow, hold here. Now drop the right heel, lift the right hand, open to your right side. Turn back to center, both hands down, left foot down, sink to the back of the mat. Now one more time, bring it forward, right knee to left elbow, hold. Now pivot on your left foot, drop the left heel, left elbow toward your belly, stay open to the side. Now extend your right leg and set the foot down. Now with an inhale, lift your hips and reach to the left arm, stay lifted here. Keep the right arm straight, keep it strong, keep your glutes squeezing and your hips lifting. And just breathe. Take an inhale. With the exhale, just sink back down. Pull the right knee in. Turn back to center. Sink to the back of the mat. And then come forward. Left knee to right elbow. Hold. Pivot on the right foot. Drop the right heel. Right elbow to your belly. Extend your left leg. Set the foot down. When you're ready with an inhale, press your hips high. Reach for the right arm and hold here. Left arm straight. Glutes engaged. Hips pressing high. Let your head fall back. 
Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just come straight down. Draw the left knee in, turn back to center, both hands to the floor, sink to the back of the mat. And then just come back into center in all fours. And from all fours, give yourself a moment to breathe, move around. Maybe shake your feet out a little bit. And we'll take this even more into the shoulders. So I want you to come down from all fours and back down onto the forearms. So with your forearms on the floor, you've got the same two choices. Forearms parallel with the palms down, or maybe press the palms together. And then from wherever you are, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and bring your hips up high. Now coming into dolphin, you can keep this light if you want. You can keep it bent in the knees and just keep your feet back and maybe just stay here. This could be good enough, especially if your shoulders are tight. But if you can take it further, see about walking your feet forward. Try to get your hips up in the air as high as you can. Now wherever you are exactly here, press in your hands, stay lifted between the shoulders. If you just want to hold the position, let your head high. But if you can take this further, I'm going to cue this into dolphin push-ups. So for that, with an inhale, bring your chin as far forward toward your hands as you can. And then press back up, hips high. Forward for two. Press it back. Forward for three. And then press it back. Forward for four. Press this back again. Forward for five. And press it back. Forward for six. Press it back. Forward for seven. Press it back, forward for eight, press it back, forward for nine, and press it back, forward for ten. Press back one more time, bring your knees down, come up onto your hands into all fours, take a moment here to breathe. And then one more thing before we move on from this portion of the class. We're going to take this down to that lopsided setup that I showed you at the beginning. So come down onto the right forearm, but stay on your left hand. So right elbow to the side, right hand moves into center, that forearm's diagonal. Slide your left hand back so you can stack the elbow directly over the wrist and keep that elbow pulled in. Now just look down, tuck the toes of both feet. Lift your knees, bring your hips up high. And maybe walk your feet further and get your hips higher still. Now keep that left elbow pulled in. You can always just stay here, keep in mind. Now, if you can move with this, with an inhale, raise your left leg high, and then scorpion the shape. Bend the left knee, hang that left foot over the right, keep your left elbow pulled in. With your next inhale, straighten your left leg. And then with the exhale, left knee to left arm, squeeze it in. Inhale the left leg high, exhale knee to left arm. Inhale, lift your left leg, exhale knee to left arm. Inhale the left leg high, exhale knee to left arm. Now set the knee on your arm and keep it here. Now to take it further, just keep looking down. Use your inner thigh. Squeeze the right leg into the left. And then bring everything down. And come back onto hands and knees. Take a moment here to breathe. And keep in mind, we're just approaching that setup for the lopsided curl. We'll take this on the other side. So come down on your left arm and stay on your right hand this time. Left elbow to the side. Left hand moves into center. Slide your right hand back. And stack the elbow directly over the wrist. Keep that elbow pulled in. Now just look down toward the floor. Tuck the toes of both feet. And then lift your knees, bring your hips up high, take this to where you can. And you can always just stay here, keep in mind. But keep pressing down to the floor and keep your hips lifted best you can. If you want to take it further, maybe walk your feet further in and get your hips higher still. Now to move with this, with an inhale, raise your right leg high. Right leg lifted, open up and scorpion the pose. Bend the right knee, hang your right foot left, keep the right elbow pulled in. With an inhale, straighten the right leg. And then with the exhale, bring it forward, knee to right arm. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm. Inhale, the right leg high. Now with the exhale, put the knee on your right arm this time and hold. Now with your hips still high, press into the right hand. Use it in a thigh. Squeeze the left leg toward the right as close as you can. And then release that. Bring everything down. And come back up to all fours. Take a couple breaths here. Now you can always just stay here and breathe and take a little break. Maybe take another stretch before we move on. But don't worry, we're ready. Go ahead, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, come into the downward facing dog. Now once you come into your down dog, take a moment, just move around here. See that your hands are flat. So spread your fingers wide, press into your palms. See that you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. And then sink your chest low to the floor. Now even as your chest sinks down, press your hips up as high as you can. And as you're pressing through the hands and reaching up through the hips, let the upper body come in toward one long straight line from the wrist creases through to the hips. Now hold some tension in your core through the belly around the lower ribs like you're cinching a belt. And with your hips pressing high, if your legs are tight, if your hamstrings are tight, just let that go and bend your knees. You can always just stay loose here. You can pedal this out and let your hips move side to side. 
when you're ready, take it in here. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward and step this to the front of the mat. Let's take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows if you like, and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then from wherever you are, release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin, but then restack your spine. So slowly round this up to standing, bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Take a moment here to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, start with a straight spine, put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then just release this at the bottom. With an inhale, lift up halfway, fingertips to the forward to the shins, lengthen forward to the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, bring your hands to the mat, step it back to high plank. Find your shape here, wrist your shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, press the floor away from you. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, try to keep your spine lifted. And keep your body in line, shoulders to hips to heels. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides, and lower with control all the way down to your belly. Now once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows in your sides. And let's take this up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck and chest. With the exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, peel up one more time. Now just stay lifted here. Keep the lift in your upper body. Keep your glutes engaged. Keep your feet pressing down. And take some or all the weight out of your hands. Elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep looking forward. And as you lift it, reach your arms straight back. And we're going to go back and forth from this position, so take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just roll back down, arms down at your sides. With your next inhale, lift up, reach back, try to come up higher. And then with the exhale, roll this back down again. Inhale, lift your chest, reach back as far as you can. Exhale, roll this back down. One more time, with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, reach as far back as you can, hold here. Kick down, squeeze your glutes, keep your gaze forward, bring your hands together. Interlace the fingers, try to pull the palms together, pull your shoulders further back, see about lifting even higher. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release this, roll back down. Hands under the shoulders, elbows in at your sides, press the palms down to the floor. And we're going to take this to upward facing dog, so when you're ready, with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward, let your hips hang, stay on the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active, work to lift your knees up from the mat. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes. Try to pull the hips forward, help deepen and lengthen the arc all through the front. Lift with your arms, lift up through your shoulders as well, keep your neck long, keep your chest pulling forward. And then take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, pull your belly and hips up high, back to down dog. Now pedal out for a moment here, let your hips move side to side. And we'll take this through our sun salutation, steady movement, take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, hands to the mat, shadow rungas, next high plank to low. With an inhale, open up your chest, lift your gaze up, dog or cobra. And then with the exhale, pull your belly in. Bring your hips up high to down dog. Two more rounds like that. Keep it steady. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Step or float. Forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale to stand and reach us up high. And then with the exhale, bring it all back down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to the floor. High plank the lows next. With an inhale, open up, draw forward. Exhale, pull back in, and bring your hips back up. One last round, take a deep inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward, fold. 
Inhale to stand and reach us up high. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, lift us up halfway. And then with exhale, set the hands, chaturanga. With an inhale, open up, draw forward. Exhale, pull back in. Find your downward facing dog and just breathe here. Now from your downward facing dog, inhale your right leg high behind you. With your right leg lifted, open to a scorpion dog. So bend the right knee, hang the right foot left. Let your body twist. Keep your shoulders square. With the next inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward. Knee to chest, shoulders or wrists. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, forward. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, the right leg high. And then exhale, knee to left elbow. Hold here. Stay lifted around your spine. Now take it slow. Drop your left heel. Lift your left hand. Elbow toward your belly. Stay lifted and open to the side. Extend your right leg and set the foot down. Now with an inhale, lift up. Reach with your left arm. And then with the exhale, just sink this back down. Back and forth. Inhale, press up high. Reach this out long. Exhale, sink this back down again. Now inhale, lift and reach and hold this time. Right arm stays straight. Keep lifting. Keep squeezing your glutes. Let your head fall back. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come back down again. Draw the left elbow in, pull the right knee in. Turn back to center, both hands down, right foot between your hands. And then bring your left knee down to the floor and take this into a kneeling lunge. So flatten your left foot behind you, both legs at about 9 degrees. Feet on two separate tracks, hips with distance. When you're ready, hands your hips. And with an inhale, bring yourself all the way upright. So everything from the left knee on up stacks are vertical. Now ground down into both feet, kick into the left foot, press down into the right. When you're ready, reach both arms high. Now, palms together, find a steeple grip. Interlace your fingers, point the index fingers toward the ceiling. And if your shoulders are tight, if this forces your head forward, just bend the elbows. Shoulders pull back, be sure you can keep your chest open. Straighten the arms as long as you can hold this open here. Now, let's take this back and forth into the hips. So bend deep into the right knee, sink the left hip down and forward, gaze up high. And then pressing your right foot, stack your hips over the left knee again. And then bring it forward. Bend the right knee, sink down and forward, look up toward the ceiling. And then press into your right foot and come back up. One more time. Bend the right knee. Sink your hips down and fold. Gaze up high. Hold here. Now keep reaching through both hands. Open up your chest. Let your head fall back. Keep breathing. And stay open all through the front of the body, especially the front of that left side. Now when you're ready, press into that right foot. Stack your hips over your left knee. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring the hands through center, left elbow outside the right thigh. We'll take a twist here. So press the elbow to the thigh, press the palms together, look up over your right shoulder. And just keep your spine, uh, spine long as you're twisting, keep breathing. Now this is good enough, but if you want to go further, you can bend that right knee again, hold your twist. And pull that left hip forward and down. To take it even deeper, you can kick into that left foot and maybe even hover your left knee up off the floor. But just take this as far as you can. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just slowly turn back to center, hands to your hips, hips stacked over the left knee. And then from that kneeling lunge, we're going to take this to a high lunge. So put the weight to the right foot, tuck the toes left. Lift your left knee up off the floor. And just give yourself a moment to find your position. Deep under the right knee, left leg towards straight, the heels lifted behind. Pull the left hip forward, right hip back. And then bring your hands behind your head. Interlace the fingers, palms open, elbows wide. Keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your chest open, stay tall. You can always separate your hands if this forces your head forward, and you can always just bring your hands to your hips if you need to to hold your balance. Now we're going to take this back and forth onto that right foot. So just take it slow. Keep your torso upright, bring your weight forward. When you're ready, come forward with your left knee high, just hold your balance here. And then step your left foot back and find that lunge. Again like that, stay tall, bring your weight forward, left knee high. And then step your left foot back into the lunge. Bring it forward again, left knee high. And then step it back one more time. Now bring your weight forward, left knee high, hold here. So stay tall, dig to the right big toe into the floor, keep your gaze forward, keep your spine long. And then we we'll take this to a standing twist. Now try to keep the left hand where it is, you can always release that. But I want you to bring the right hand to the outside of your left knee. Now to take the twist, draw your left shoulder back, stay tall, open up to the left side. And this is plenty right here, it's definitely tricky. And if you want to go further, you can reach that right hand to the outside of the left foot. Maybe extend the left leg, but keep your balance and keep yourself upright. Now we're still balancing here. Take an inhale. 
With the exhale, turn to center. Left knee lifted, hands to your hips. Ooh, and then set the left foot down. And come to standing with your right knee high. We're just switching the feet out. Now dig into the left big toe. Keep your gaze forward. And when you're ready, step the right foot back. And let's take this to a warrior one. So as that right foot comes back, probably not as long a stance as you had before. So left knee bent, right leg straight, both feet are flat with the right foot pointing to the side about 45 degrees or so. Now wherever you set this up, be sure you can pull the right hip forward, left hip back so the hips are still squared to the front. And let your hips sink down. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, elbows wide, let your head fall back, open up your chest and hold this here. Now what you're doing is bringing the arch to the full length of your spine. Keep your chest open, keep the shoulders back, keep your elbows bent. And we're gonna go back and forth from here to reaching forward and rounding the spine completely. So take an inhale. Now with the exhale, reach forward around as much as you can. Inhale, pull this back, elbows wide, let your head fall back. Exhale, fold and round. Inhale, open up, elbows wide, let your head fall back. Exhale, forward and round your spine. Inhale, draw this back, elbows wide, open up, hold here. Now keep the arch in your spine, keep your chest open, but look forward. And then just slowly, Put the weight to the left foot, hinge me left hip, bring your belly forward with the shoulders still pulled back. And we're gonna take this to a standing balance again, so lift the right heel. And as you come forward, put the weight to the left foot, bend your right knee so the right foot stays lifted, and maybe stay more upright. Shoulders pull back, chest stays open. Now if you can take it further, hinge from your left hip and lift this up higher with the sole of the right foot facing the ceiling. And maybe bend the left knee, bring your belly down toward your thigh. Keep your shoulders pulled back, keep your gaze forward, keep breathing here. And you're trying to hold the arch in your spine as you balance, keep in mind. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward, fold. When you're ready from here, take an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set the hands, we're going to take it to crawl. Palms down, grip the floor with your fingers, lift your heels. Bring the knees up to touch your arms, and then look forward, lean forward, go slow. And if you're going to take it into balance, and keep looking forward and try to lean, set the feet get light, lift them together. Big toes to touch, heels to your seat. Now, if you want the lopsided curl, bring your feet down, come down to all fours. And then from here, it's going to be right forearm down to the floor, stand your left hand. Right up to the side, bring that hand to center so that forearm's diagonal. Slide your left hand back, stack the elbow over the wrist and keep the elbow pulled in. Now, look down at the floor, tuck the toes to both feet. Lift your knees, come into that lopsided dolphin, hips high. Walk your feet further forward, get your hips as high as you can. Now, it's left knee to the left arm, keep it here. Use your inner thigh, squeeze the right leg into the left, and then maybe lift that right foot. And just take this to where you can. When you're ready, go ahead and take it through your vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, give yourself a moment, paddle out. And we're gonna take all that to the other side. So once you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Now with your left leg lifted, open to your scorpion dog. So bend the left knee, hang the left foot right, let your hips open up and let your body twist. Inhale, straighten the left leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrists. Now inhale your left leg high. Exhale, forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, twist, knee to right elbow, stay forward. And then drop the right heel, lift the right hand, open up to the right side. Extend your left leg and set the foot down. Now back and forth with an inhale, press up high, reach to that right arm, and then sink this all the way back down. Inhale, lift and reach, stretch this out. Exhale, come back down again. Now inhale, lift and reach one more time, hold here. Left arm stays straight, press from the shoulder into the palm, let your head fall back. Keep your glutes squeezing, use your hips to lifting and just breathe. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just sink this back down. Draw the left knee in, turn back to center, both hands down, left foot between your hands, and then bring the right knee down to the floor. We're gonna take that kneeling lunge. Right foot flat behind you, feet are on two separate tracks, hips with distance so the hips can stay square. Hands to hips with an inhale, just bring yourself all the way upright. Now ground in it down into both feet, kick into the right foot, press down into the left, and then bring the arms up high and find that steeple grip again. So palms together, fingers in a lace, index fingers toward the ceiling. Now bend the elbows if this forces your head forward, but you can always straighten your arms as long as you can keep your shoulders back and keep your chest open. Now back and forth from here. Deep in the left knee, sink your hips down and forward, bring your gaze up high. And then press your left foot, stack your hips over the right knee. Again, sink forward and down, look up toward the ceiling, open up the front of your body. And then press into that left foot, come back upright. 
One more time, bend the left knee, sink the hips down and forward, gaze up high, hold here. Now keep the front of the right side of the body nice and long. And then press into that left foot. With an inhale, bring yourself upright. And then with the exhale, hands through center, find the twist, right elbow outside your left thigh this time. Now press the elbow to the thigh, press the palms together. Look back over your left shoulder. And maybe just keep this upright, but keep your twist. If you're going to go further, you can better that left knee, pull the right hip down and forward. Further still, you can kick into that right foot and hover the knee. Woo, just take it to where you can and keep your twist. Now from wherever you are here, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just slowly come back to center, back to that kneeling lunge. Hands to your hips, press into the right foot and into the left. And then when you're ready, put the weight to the left foot, tuck the toes to the right, and come to a high lunge stance. So still feet on two separate tracks, hips are still, hips are squared, right hip forward, left hip back. And keep your torso upright, hands behind your head, fingers interlaced, palms open, elbows wide, shoulders pulled back. You can separate your hands if you need to, if your chest is tight, if your shoulders are tight. But keep yourself upright and keep looking forward. Now back and forth from here to balancing. Lean your weight to the left foot. Come forward, right knee high. Just hold on to this for a moment. And then step your right foot straight back and find that lunge. Bring it forward again with your right knee high. Stay tall. And then again, step that right foot back into the lunge. Bring it forward again with the right knee high. And then just step the right foot back one more time. Bring this forward with your right knee high. Hold here. Now keep yourself upright, dig in the left big toe, keep your gaze forward, keep your spine tall. And then just take it slow, take it to that standing twist. So left hand to the outside of the right knee. Now try to keep that right arm high, you can bring it to your hip if you need to. But pull the right shoulder back, open your chest to the right, take this to where you can, stay tall, stay balanced. And if you want to go further, left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Maybe extend the right leg and hold the twist. Now still balancing here, take an inhale. And with the exhale, slowly turn to center, right knee lifted, hands to your hips. And then to switch this out, bring the right foot down. Come to standing with your left knee high and just hold. Now when you're ready for me, go ahead, bend the right knee, step the left foot back, find your warrior one stance. So it's still a lunge, but both, be a flat, both feet are flat this time. Right knee bent, left leg straight, left foot rotated to the side about 45 degrees or so. Make sure you can arrange this so you can square the hips to the front. Right hip back, left hip forward. So go ahead, take a shorter stance or take a wider stance if you need to. Let the hips sink low. Now with an inhale, reach the arms up high. And then exhale, elbows wide, pull your shoulders back, open your chest, gaze up high, hold here. And again, when you come to this position, you're trying to hold that full arch of the spine. Now back and forth from here to rounding, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, reach forward, round your spine as much as you can. Inhale, pull this back, elbows bent, open up your chest. Exhale, forward and round. Inhale, pull this back, elbows wide, gaze high. Exhale, forward and round one more time. Inhale, pull this back, elbows wide, open your chest. And then just keep your chest open and look forward. Now hinge from the hips, bring your belly toward the right thigh, weight comes to the right foot, lift your left heel. Now come to stand in that right foot with your left knee bent. Woo! Now hold your balance here as best you can. Keep your chest open. If you can take it further, start to hinge from the right hip. Now you can straighten the right leg if you like, but I'm going to recommend you lower down. Try to bring your belly toward your right thigh. Shoulders back. Try to keep your gaze forward. Keep breathing here. And then take an inhale. And with exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Now from that fold, when you're ready, take an inhale, lift this up halfway. With the exhale, set your hands, let's take it back to crow. Palms down, dig your fingertips into the floor, lift your heels. And then touch your knees to your arms. Now take it slow, hips stay high to start. Look forward, lean forward, keep your gaze forward. And if you're going to balance it, just take this enough so you can lift the feet up together. Big toes to touch, heels to your seat, take that to where you can. Now if you're going to take the lopsided crow, come down to all fours. And then it's left forearm to the floor, elbow to the side, left hand comes to center. Slide your right hand back and pull that elbow into your side. Now tuck the toes of both feet, lift your knees, get your hips up high, walk your feet further and hips as high as you can go. Now just look down, right knee to the right arm, squeeze your left leg into the right, use your inner thighs, and maybe lift your left foot up as well, and take it to where you can. When you're ready, bring it through another vinyasa.
Once you find it down, dog, take a moment, pedal out. And let's bring this into the next sequence. So when you're ready with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow, hold here, stay forward. And then drop your left heel, lift your left hand, open up the left side. Right leg extends, set the foot down. Now back and forth with an inhale, press up, reach to that left arm. Exhale, sink this back down. Inhale, lift and reach, stretch this out. Exhale, come back down. One more time, take an inhale, lift, reach and hold. Now keep the right arm straight, keep your glutes squeezing, let your head fall back, stretch all through your left side. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just sink straight down. Now pull the right knee and turn to center, both hands down. Right foot between your hands, low lunge. From your low lunge, we'll take warrior two. So with an inhale, just drop the left heel. Lift your torso, whim of the arms, open out to the left side. And give yourself a moment to set up your stance. Deep under the right knee, left leg straight. Now one line from the front heel to the back arch. Let your hips sink low. And take this with a half bind. Left arm behind your back, palm face. me. pull that shoulder back. Open up your right palm toward the ceiling. And let's go back and forth from here. So with an inhale, reverse. Reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend this forward. Keep looking up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Now with the exhale, extend one more time. Stay forward and bring the right arm to the right leg. Maybe stay here. Left shoulder stays high. If you can go deeper, right hand to the floor inside the right leg. Deeper still, you can sink down and bend the right elbow. And if you want the full bind, go ahead, reach underneath and bring your hands together. Now wherever you take this to, the left shoulder stays high. Your chest stays open to the side. You should still be able to see the ceiling. Now, I want you to keep that half bind. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, slowly bring your torso upright. Left arm behind your back, right hand to the right hip. And then just turn your heels and toes out. Bring this into a horse stance, a wide-legged squat. Now, bend into both knees, thighs toward parallel to the floor. Come down low. Bring yourself into center with your spine toward upright. The left hand comes all the way to the right side so that the right hand meets the left. Palms together, fingers in lace, shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open here. And keep your hips low. We're going to go back and forth from this position. So lift your right heel, pivot to the left, and just slowly dip that right knee down. Keep your torso upright. Now come back up, set your heels flat, and back to horse. Lift your left heel, pivot to the right, dip your left knee down low. And then come straight up, both heels down, back and horse. Right heel lifts, turn to left, and dip the right knee down. Back up to center, both feet flat. Lift your left heel, pivot to the right, dip the left knee down low and then bring it back up with both heels on the floor. Now one more time, lift your right heel, pivot left. Now sink down, right knee just above the floor. Keep your spine tall. Now you can stay here, you can pulse this up and down into that low knee. So on my count, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then come back to center, back to horse. Now look at your left foot, turn it so it's parallel to the short side of your mat. Put the weight to the left foot, lift your right heel, drag that right big toe over to all the weights in your left leg, and then bring yourself up to standing with the right knee high. Now dig into the left big toe, slow your breathing down. And then when you're ready, left arm stays bound, but release your right hand, take hold of the right knee. And then pull that right knee out to the side. Now just stay tall, stay balanced, shoulders pulled back, this is good enough. If you want to go further, reach inside the right leg, find the big toe. Now further still, you can pull the knee up higher. Maybe extend that leg to the side, but just take it to where you can balance right now. Now still balancing, release any grip that you have, right knee out to the side, right arm reaching toward the front of the mat. And then just look to the right, toward the front. Now step your right foot forward, stay open to the side, right arm reaches down past your right knee, left arm still bound, and then bring the right hand down to the floor. Now left shoulder stays high, you're on the right foot, lift your left heel, drag the left big toe forward so all the weight's in your right leg. Now stay open to the side with the left shoulder and left hip high. Look down at the floor, and we're going to go back and forth lifting that left leg. So press into the right foot, bring your left foot up as high as you can. Bend the right knee, bring that big toe down. Press into the right foot, lift your left leg high. Bend the right knee, bring the big toe down. Press into your right foot, left leg goes high. Bend the right knee, bring the toe to the floor. 
One more time, press with the right foot, left leg high, hold here. Now try to get that leg as high as you can, left shoulder and left hip stay high. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release, both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. When you're ready here, take an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set the hands, let's take it back to crow. Palms down, grip the floor, lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward, lean forward, go slow. And if you're going to balance it, keep leaning so your feet lift together. Big toes to touch heels to your seat. Take that to where you can. Now for the lopsided crow, come down to all fours. And it's right forearm down again. Right elbow to the side, right hand to center. Slide the left hand back, elbow directly over the wrist. Keep that elbow pulled in. Look down, tuck the toes of both feet. Lift your knees, get your hips up high. Maybe walk the feet further and hips higher still. And then left knee to left arm. Use the inner thighs, right leg squeezes to the left. Maybe lift that right foot. And when you're ready, take it through another vinyasa. And once you find it down, dog, take a moment, pat that. We'll even that out on the other side. So when you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, forward, knee to left elbow. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow, stay here. And then drop the right heel, lift the right hand, open to the right side. Left leg extends, set the foot down. Back and forth with an inhale, reach up, raise your hips. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, reach up and raise. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, reach up, raise your hips, hold here. Left arm straight, keep that arm strong. Keep the right arm reaching, keep your glutes squeezing, your hips pressing high. And just breathe. Take an inhale. With the exhale, sink straight down. Pull the left knee in, turn to center, both hands down. Left foot between your hands, low lunge. And then from your low lunge into warrior two. With the inhale, drop the right heel, lift your torso, win with the arms. And take a moment to set up your stance here. Deep in the left knee, right leg straight. Again, one line from the front heel to the back arch. Take a half bind right on behind your back, palm face wing. Pull that shoulder back and open up your left palm toward the ceiling. Now back and forth, inhale, reverse. Reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend this forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend and stay forward this time. Left arm to the left leg, right shoulder pulled back. Or maybe left hand to the floor inside the left leg. You can bend the left elbow, sink down further, or reach underneath and find that full bind. Wherever you take it to, right shoulder stays high, your chest is still open to the side, and you can still see the ceiling. Keep breathing here. Now we're going to keep that half bind. Take an inhale. With the exhale, just bring yourself up, right arm behind your back, left hand to your hip. Now heels and toes out, find the horse stance on this side. So sink your hips down, thighs toward parallel to the floor, move around for a moment. And then bring yourself upright. So the right hand comes all the way to the left, left hand meets the right. Palms together, fingers and lace, shoulders pulled back, keep your chest open. And we'll go back and forth from here. So lift your left heel, pivot to the right side. Stay tall through your spine, but dip that left knee down low. Come straight up, set your foot back to horse. Lift the right heel, pivot to the left, dip that right knee down low. Bring yourself back up, both feet flat. Lift your left heel, pivot to the right side, dip that left knee down. Stay tall, come back up, back to horse. Right heel lifts, pivot to the left, bring that knee down low. Come back up with both heels down. One more time, lift your left heel, pivot to the right. Now bring the left knee low, hold here, just hover the knee, stay tall through your spine. And if you can, let's just pulse it from here, it's at 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set the left heel down, come back to center, and then look at your right foot. Now turn the right foot parallel to the short side of the mat. Lift your left heel, drag that left big toe over to all the weights on your right foot, and then bring yourself up to standing with your left knee high. Slow your breathing down, look forward, grip the floor with the right big toe. And when you're ready, with your right hand, left hand rather, take hold of your left knee and pull it out to the side. Now just open up your hips, stay balanced, right shoulder stays pulled back, keep your chest open. And if you want to go further, reach inside the left leg, find the big toe. Now if you have that grip, you can pull the knee up higher, maybe extend the leg to the side, but just take this to where you can. Now 
Now still balancing, release any grip you have, left knee still to the side, left arm reaching toward the front of the mat. Now turn your head, look toward the front, step your left foot forward, and then reach your left arm past your left knee toward the floor, right shoulder stays high. Now bring the left hand all the way to the floor. Right shoulder and right hip stay lifted, come up onto the right big toe, and press down into your left foot. Now as you stay open to the side, we're going to go back and forth lifting that right leg. So pressing the left foot, right big toe comes up high. Bend the left knee, touch the toe back down. Pressing your left foot, lift the right leg. Bend the left knee, bring the big toe down. Pressing your left foot, lift the right leg high. Bend the left knee, big toe to the floor. One more time, pressing the left foot, right leg high, hold here, stay tall. And stay open to the side. When you're ready, take an inhale. With the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Once you're ready here, take an inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set the hands a second to curl one more time. Palms down, grip the floor, lift your heels. Bring the knees up to touch your arms. Look forward, lean forward, go slow. And see about lifting your feet up together to find that balance. Now, if you want the lopsided curl, come down to all fours. And then this time, left forearm down, elbow to the side, bring the left hand to center. Slide the right hand back, elbow to the wrist, keep the elbow pulled into your side. Tuck the toes of both feet, lift your knees, get your hips up high. Walk your feet further in, hips higher still. Now keep looking down. It's going to be right knee to the right arm. Use your inner thigh. Squeeze the left leg toward the right. Maybe lift that left foot up as well. And then when you're ready, take it to another vinyasa. Now from downward facing dog, let's take this to half pigeon. So with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. With the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead, flatten your left foot, straighten your left leg, pull the left hip forward, keep it in line with the right, and just sink your weight straight down. Now keep your hips squared, look for at least some of that stretch on the bent leg side, outer right hip or toward the glutes. Now you can keep yourself upright like this. Maybe take a deeper toe extension if you want one of the back bends. And if you want to just chill out, you can come down to the elbows and maybe melt this down all the way. Just take it the way you need to right now and breathe. All right, now from here, if your hands are forward, walk them back in. And we're to take this into another pose. So lower yourself to the right hip, swing your left leg forward. And we're to take this into Lord of the Fishes. So right heel outside your left hip, left foot outside your right thigh. And this is a seated twist here. So give yourself a moment, try to get both sit bones down to the floor. And if you have trouble with this, if that left sit bone's more than an inch or two up off your mat, go ahead, extend the right leg forward with your left leg crossed. Now either way, set your left hand down behind you, inhale the right arm up high. And with the exhale, move into the twist, right elbow past your left thigh. Now keep your spine tall, reach the crown of the head toward the ceiling, bring your gaze back over the left shoulder. Use your right arm, press into your left leg, and just breathe here for a moment. Now take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just slowly release this. Bring both hands over to the right side. Lightly open your chest to the right. And then lean back. Hands behind. Uncross your legs. And then just cross the ankles. Roll forward your hands. Step back to down dog. Give yourself a moment here. Paddle that. And then we'll take all that to the other side. So with your next inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bring it forward. Left knee to left wrist, left ankle somewhere behind the right. Flatten the right foot, straighten the right leg. Pull the right hip forward, keep your hips in line. And just sink your weight straight down. Now look for some of that stretch on the bent leg side. Again, out of the left hip, maybe toward the glutes. You can keep yourself extended, take it toward the back bend, or maybe melt down, come down to the elbows, and come down all the way if you like. But just take it to where you need to right now and breathe with this.
And then again from here, if your hands are forward, walk them back in. Lower yourself to the left hip, swing your right leg forward. And let's take it to the Lord of Fishes on this side. So left heel outside the right hip, right foot outside your left thigh. And give yourself a moment, both sit bones down, sit this up tall. You can always extend that left leg. When you're ready to move into the twist, right hand sets behind. Inhale the left arm up high. And with the exhale, bring the left elbow past your right thigh. Now keep your spine tall. Reach the crown head toward the ceiling. Look back over the right shoulder. Use your left arm, press into the right leg, and just breathe with this here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release. Bring both hands to the left side. Lightly open your chest to the left. And then go ahead, turn back to center. Hands behind, lean back, untangle the legs. And this time, come all the way down onto your back. Now, once you're down, pull your knees into your chest. Squeeze everything in for a moment. And then we'll just take one longer round of back bending here. So go ahead, put your feet down on the floor. Now, I'm going to start the cuning out with bridge and then lead into wheel. And you can always take wheel from the beginning if you want to hold it longer, and you can always stay in bridge. So just take this as far as you're ready. Either way, feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring the heels in close so you can bring your low back as flat as possible from the beginning. Arms at your sides with the palms down, keep your gaze up high. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, press into your feet, squeeze your glutes, and bring your hips up high. Now as you hold on to this, keep the glutes squeezing, keep your hips lifting. This is good enough, but keep the tension of the lift. And if you want to take your bridge further, hands underneath your hips, Interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders behind your back maybe to open your chest even more, and keep the glutes squeezing. If you want to take it further still, if you have the reach, you can hold your ankles and use that grip to lift the hips even higher and open your chest up even further. Now, if you want to take it from bridge to wheel, keep your hips lifted but release your hands. So the hands come around your head, palms to the floor, fingertips toward your shoulders, elbows high. When you're ready, pressing your palms so you can lift to the top of your head first. But then straighten your arms when you're ready. Press your hips toward the ceiling. Open your chest toward the back wall. For either pose, if it's too much in the low back, you can always lift your heels to get more space. But keep the glutes squeezing. Keep the shoulder blades moving toward each other. So the back line of your body tenses up as the front line of the body opens up. Keep breathing here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bring it all back down to the floor. <laughs> Once you come back down, draw your knees into your chest, squeeze everything in tight. And let's take this into happy baby. So go ahead, reach between the knees, take hold of the outside edges of your feet, stack your ankles above your knees, and pull down on both sides. Now as you draw down, try to press the knees to the floor outside your ribs, press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. And just keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten your spine, sink your tailbone toward the floor. And then if you want to take this further, you can rock this a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, from wherever you are, take a deep inhale here. Draw down as much as you can. And with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat for a moment. And then just start to move bit by bit when you're ready. Fingers and toes. 
arms and legs. And stretch this out long. Take a deep inhale. Reach your arms out past your head. And then pull it all back in. Bring the elbows toward your chest. Draw your knees up as well. And then find your way up to a comfortable seat. And ground yourself into the mat, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. Take a deep inhale here, hold on to the top. And then just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.